Hi guys, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Today I'm going to do another quick video about this camera here. Um, this is the second video, it'll be a bit shorter uh, than the first one. Um, the first one I explained a little bit about this camera, some of the features that it has on it, because obviously it's quite an unusual camera to look at, um, and literally put it out on test last night. At the bottom of that, this, uh, the bottom of that uh, video in the description, there is a link through to our CCTV Systems UK uh, Facebook page, and there's a picture in pitch black, and there's one that I took at first sun up this morning. Um, I like to show a picture in low light situations, specifically for cameras like these that have the white LED arrays on them, giving them 24 hour colour view. It's more challenging for them, of course. So very quickly, S Pro 5 megapixel IP camera, 2.8 millimeter wide lens, white light for colour view 24 hours a day, flashing red and blue strobe, built-in microphone, slot underneath with the reset button and docking station for a micro SD card. Because this is standalone, you can use it without a DVR or NVR, and there is a speaker built in underneath, which is important today. Now that speaker can be used by pressing the talk through button on your mobile viewing app and of course anything you say comes through this speaker. But this camera also has some warning presets built into it and you can add your own. Um, I think there's about a dozen in there, I, I didn't take a long time to um, perusal through them but the user will, uh, you know, don't climb here. Uh, no parking, you are under surveillance. Now, for the purposes of this video, I've clicked you are under surveillance, so you'll get to see um, that in action. Now, I'm doing another video specifically about this here, which is the audio output, and I knew when I showed you the tail of this yesterday in the first video, I was going to get some uh, requests about this. So, very quickly, there's your usual... RJ45 female where your network cable goes and that of course is PoE compatible so if you've got a PoE injector or a, uh, a powered switch plug it into there on the same network away you go if you haven't got a PoE switch sorry there's your usual female DC for your uh, standard voltage so you can power it that way there is an audio in which we expected but it's this one. This is a, a, a female um, phono connector like the audio in, but it's yellow and it does say audio out. Now then, I'll just very quickly power this camera up because I want to do a very quick video and I'll give it a chance to start up. It is networked. So why would we use this output? Well, certainly on commercial buildings, we put a lot of amplifiers in. Why? because they're connected to outdoor speakers. So you can basically use this cable, connect a piece of coax cable into the back of an amplifier or a different type of cable into a microphone input. And when you press the talk through button on your mobile app or hit the button for the pre-selected uh, warning coming out the speakers, it goes into an amplifier and out through your external speakers. So if you find somebody on your property on a night you can scream and shout at them if you want by the use of this. So, while that's powering up, here's a standard piece of RG59 single cable. I've crimped a BNC connector on there, and there is a push on BNC to male phone or connector. Push on and twist, very much like putting the cable onto the back of a DVR. Now then, that has got exactly the same on the opposite side, which is plugged into one of my inputs on an amplifier, which is behind the camera. Um, we stock an awful lot of cloud amplifiers for this particular use. Um, I know they're a little bit more expensive than the rest of the stuff that's on the market, but by God, is it worth it? Talk about buy cheap, buy twice. In the last 10, maybe a dozen years, I can count on one hand the amount of time I've been back and changed anything to do with cloud amplifiers. So that's a, a good sign. Um, so what I'm gonna do first of all is, now that that's been powered up for a little while, I'm gonna bring my tablet into view. I'm gonna get the beacon to flash and the 
preset uh, warning through the speaker, which is you are under surveillance. Then I'm going to connect this to an amplifier. You can hear how loud it can go because obviously my amplifier is connected to a set of speakers like outdoor ones usually are. Um, and then I'm going to walk out of the room because obviously I've got a mobile device. I don't want it next to the microphone in this camera when I'm trying to speak because you'll get the crossover. So, put that out of the way for a second. I'll turn this camera away from the camera that we're using and filming on at the moment. So there's the Easy Viewer Pro. I think this has been on long enough now to have caught back up. Yes, it is, as you can see. So at the bottom of the app, there's a little arrow that says more functions. And when you click that, on the right hand side there is a light bulb. Now I know this is difficult to see, certainly on these videos, but that's now brought a little alarm icon up there on the right hand side, which looks like a bell and a picture of a light bulb to the left hand side. So unlike yesterday's video, I'm gonna do this the opposite way around. I'm gonna press the light bulb first, which activates the flashing strobes. Are you ready? Here we go. As you can see, that's the strobes lighting up. So of course you can do that from anywhere. If you see somebody on your property and you want to press that button and set the strobes off, that is the button there. That's the icon, the little bulb. And to the right hand side there is the little bell. Now of course I've not got the amplifier wired up yet. There's the cable still, the amp switched on but it's not connected. So you'll just hear the speaker with the preset warning that I've selected which is you are under surveillance. Here we go. Brilliant. So that's the speaker. So if I just put that down for a moment, I don't know if you can hear this. You will be able to do when I click it in because the amplifier is switched on, so you'll hear the noise. There's the BNC uh, two male phono. I'll put that into the female socket. You'll hear it activate. There you go. So all I've got now is my standard piece of Cat Six that's powering this with a PoE and a piece of coax into one of the inputs on the amplifier. So, let's do this again. Click the right hand button there at the bottom. I'm not gonna click the light, I'm gonna click the warning. So not only will the sound come through the speaker on the camera, but it also comes through on the amplifier. Here we go. You are under surveillance. 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 You and there you go. That's the reason why these particular outputs are very, very handy. So, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to click onto the camera. Now, that's your talk through button. Now, the only thing is, I'm going to have to go outside of the room because I'm trying to talk on this device and the microphone is there and it'll start squealing because we'll get the feedback between the two devices. So I'm going to go outside and say, hey you, get off my property. And you'll be able to hear that while I'm outside. And that's by this button here. Here we go. Hey you, get off my property. Now I'm sure you could hear that because even I could hear that outside. So, what do you think? That is the way to do it. That's how to utilize your audio outputs. Now then, very quickly, this cable of course can be changed. It doesn't have to be a piece of RG59. I've made it that because of course it's readily available when having CCTV systems installed. But you can put a little piece of three core cable in there and all cloud amplifiers have either one, two, or four microphone inputs in them. And what we often do is put a connection on here, use a piece of that three-core cable, run it into the um, microphone input, 
and that way you can have some music playing at your work and when you press the button on your mobile phone for talk through or the button I've just shown you for the audible warning it will actually mute the music allow the warning or your voice to come through and when you've finished it will bring the music back to its previous level and that's the reason why we use cloud amplifiers so I hope you've enjoyed this video um, I knew I'd get a lot of calls about that I just knew it um, Two of our customers have, have, have sent direct messages saying, look, you know, can we have one of those cameras put on our amplifiers? And of course, because they've got cloud amplifiers that we've installed for them, absolutely no problem. But if you do have a standard amplifier and you're not quite sure if it can be attached, give us a shout. We'll always have a go at installing it for you. There's lots of things you can do with sound. In fact, sound is probably one of the uh, mediums that we can alter the most you can alter it more than you can alter video to be fair so don't be shy if you get stuck give us a shout go through onto our cctv systems uk facebook page and you can always message us there because youtube's great but the notifications can be really unreliable honestly guys sometimes we'll get a notification straight away sometimes it's in six days and sometimes it's not at all and we are of course first and foremost installers and have been for 20 years we just don't have the time to go trawling through the comments i wish we could but we can't we just don't have the time but anyway i'll put some more videos on about this camera because as it's out on um test for seven days i want to learn a little bit more about some of the higher features um specifically this of course which is the AI, Artificial Intelligence, which is the SMD, the Smart Motion Detection, which is, of course, your human and vehicle recognition. I'm going to mess with it for an entire week and see what we can find out about it. So, that's Paul logging off at CCTV Systems UK, showing you a really simple way to use an audio output on a camera for the maximum effect for not too much money. You all have a good day. Stay safe, stay out of trouble, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye now.